Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn a very exciting transaction that is normally used to get the details of uh, purchase orders, their costs and uh, their comparison with the currency, uh, the net number of items etc. So we are going to use the transaction that is ME2N. Let me repeat it ME2N. So ME2N transaction is used to get the details of purchase orders you can see I have typed it here me2 and I will press enter and this window will appear in front of you the name is purchasing documents as per document number so we we can use this transaction as per our, our own requirement for example if we have the purchasing document numbers with us then we can just enter here the purchasing document numbers and the details will be visible with us if we don't have the purchasing document numbers and uh, if we want to extract the purchasing documents then we will enter our criteria details and the purchase orders that will be meeting that criteria will come here for example I write the plant name here and I write the document date here as uh, 1-8-2023 till 10 8 2023 so i have just entered these two items the plant and the date range so in this way what it will do it will show me all the purchase orders that will be created in this date so see this is showing me the purchase orders the total 9 439 line items all the purchase orders which are created during this portion so here you can see uh, it is showing some different details in your total quantity so if we talk about the net order value 4300 EUR euros purchase orders are created in this timeline and in USD the value is a bit different which is not correct so these are the different units in bags this is a quantity that is ordered in number in kg liters PU per physical etc so these are the things that are being shown here in this you can see this is the one purchase order this is the vendor these are the material codes these are the description or short text of the material code this is the plant its quantity the quantity that needs to be delivered the line item number in PO the net per price material group uh, the creator state etc these are the details that we can see here from this transaction let us go back and let's check what are the important criteria that are given here so what i can enter is i can enter purchasing document purchasing organization scope of list you we usually enter alv because it's a certain scheme of numbers which are presented to us then the selection parameters document type purchase groups account assignment category with delivery date key date range of coverage vendor supplying plant material sorry the material group the document date vendor material number promotion season short text etc so the, the there are a lot of criteria which are given here and we can use any one of these for example let's make another criteria let's enter the date as the same and i will enter one material group here 141001 production spare parts and then i will click execute button and now, now only those purchase orders will be shown here which are created under 141001 in this time frame in these 10 days so you can see I can just narrow it down my requirement and then I will be getting the data as per my requirement here we have the option of changing layout just clicking on this scare box with multicolors so I can these are the I things that are being shown in current view then I can enter I can select any one of these you can see here and I can put these on the left side see I can put these on the left side and uh, this will be visible this will be visible again 
so you can see here this is a very useful transaction and we can use it uh, if you want to get the details of the cost or the purchase orders how much quantity how much amount has been ordered for certain purchase group or for certain vendor or for certain uh, material group etc so i hope this video have been very useful for all of you for any questions you can just try it in the comments tab and we will try our best to answer your queries until next time bye bye